Hey folks, Turbine Guy back at you. Now today, we're going to install Iron Ridge FF2 flash feet. And I want to show you how it's done. And so we got the foot, we got the leg bolt, and we got the clip that goes on with it. But to do the installation, we're going to have to have the drill with a quarter inch bit for a pilot hole. The impact with a 7 16 uh, socket on it. A wrench to put that on to give it a final tighten. And we're going to need our putty knife and hammer uh, to scrape up the uh, shingles, but not only that, the hammer to find the stud. So I basically identified a line between where it goes. Now I just have to find the stud. Here, it's right there. Let me give her up. There we go. So we are in. Next thing we have to do, gently work it. You don't want to wreck your shingles. Scrape the shingle up. You got her up good. Center it right on the hole. Of course, your foot is never going to always go all the way up. Just got to help her out a little bit. Leg bolt. Is where you use your eyeballs and find the hole. Got it right in. No. Final tighten to the official spec. Now you might want to use a torque wrench to make sure, but I'm pretty used to this, so I know where I need to go. We're done, it's in. All you gotta do. Put on that clip. Oh, it's off. Spin it half, and you're done. There you go. Installation of an Iron Ridge FF2 flash foot by the turbine guy. Well, as I begin to install an array, the first thing I want to do is lay my flash feet out where I think they're going to go. And so what I need to do next is ensure that I got my first flash foot in spot on stud, and that's what I check and make sure, and I drill that hole and know where I'm working off of. I work from that spot. I, I measure across. Measure again, make sure it's right. I come and I check and ensure that, that all the studs are two feet apart as they're supposed to be. Then you gotta check your measurements and maybe pet the kitty. Now it's time to ensure that I've got the height of the modules accounted for. So what I do is I'm gonna line it up height-wise, do measurements, check it twice, and get the feet on the near side ready, and then look at the feet on, on the far side. And the crazy thing is, Sometimes while you're trying to work, you got a solar kitty that's just gonna cause you so many problems, you gotta leave the damn roof. Get, get, get her out of there. Well, here she is back. Anyways, once I'm done checking my measurements left to right, now it's time to begin installing the feet. Since we have a second, let me tell you how. To get your DIY solar or micro wind project started, visit my website, gogreenenergyonline.com, or give me a call, 952-334-6400. After I finish installing these flash feet on the side, time to grab the chalk box, snap a line between them, so when we install the inner flash feet, they're all in a nice straight line, so our rails will be nice and straight. Once we get the outside and inside feet established and have the line snapped, it is time to begin installing the others. We've skipped ahead to where most of them are installed. And now after we get them installed, we need to ensure we run back across with a torque wrench and everything is torqued to the proper spec. Then we can install the rail bracket. Get those installed and we are off and running. Turbine guy signing off.